welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. It's me, Big Plex. So we're going to pick up right where we left off. We're in this deer stand by Delina. And we're going to just recon it. See if we have any activity before we head down. So if you watched video two, you see that I was talking about either two or three. I can't really recall, but uh, I was talking about if you see zombies in the town and you're a good distance away, that normally there's a player there. Well, that last video kind of confirmed that that is a possibility. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and head down. Sun's either coming up or going down. It's kind of hard to tell. Never ever drink water that you find. Always make sure you know the source of it. Delina, we shall go. Now, I don't really need much gear. I'm probably going to only hit POIs that uh, I see is beneficial to us. I mean, a shovel would be nice. Um, other than that, I mainly just want to get a stash going. So once we get a stash going, we'll be able to... Dropping off some of this loot that we acquire. That's kind of just the way I always do it. I mean, people play different. But I try not to acquire too much stuff. Okay, that's a must. Worst case scenario, we'll fix our clothes with that. Like I said multiple times, guys, I don't, uh, I don't loot every building. And I don't see this town being any different. Oh, well, hello. Yeah, we are deaf 
definitely gonna have to. Oh, we're definitely gonna have to fix the clothes now, for sure. Let's see something here. If we can kind of come in here real quick and collect ourselves. I did not expect him to be right outside that door, no. So that was kind of my bad. Trying to be a little more cautious here. I actually don't like taking out all the zombies because that's my guard dog, so to speak. That's a very easy way to know if somebody's around. Which, that also goes for me, you know, now I done kind of made some noise here. Alright, what we got? Three eighties are nice, but we're uh, still looking for 7.62s. That would be the round right now. I think if I could find a shovel right right quick, I don't think we'd stay here very long. And uh, do keep in mind, Daisy's not like PUBG, so if you see a door open, you know, it's not like somebody's been here. Uh, they kind of randomly make it to where doors will be open to buildings. I still remember when they first implemented that patch and I seen doors open. I sat there and was like, oh yeah, someone's here. Snuck around the whole town, waited, and didn't see a soul for hours. And uh, that's obviously still a thing. Uh, we could kill this chicken, but... I think we have plenty enough food to get us where we're going. Steak knife. Yeah. Yep. Tennis shoes are a little bit quieter, help you with uh, noise levels, but you know how I am. I'm gonna switch them out regardless. is one of the main reasons I don't loot every single building. Because you're normally not going to find what you're looking for. Plus my inventory space is starting to get a little crunched. So I'd like to be able to have a place to stash this before I keep acquiring. Yep. Not gonna give me that shovel.
come on. I find the shovel is starting to become the new M4. <laughs> the rarity of getting one. But there is a police station in Delena. Obviously, that's where we're heading. There's also a little youth camp, summer camp, on the outskirts. Uh, we're also going to hit that up. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to find anything. Exactly the greatest spot to find a shovel. <laughs> Tell you what, we're gonna go ahead and swap out for that because uh, this bomber jacket seen better days. Could be my melee combat, you know. A little rusty. Nah, it's just um, the way they changed it. That's just kind of how the zombies are. Oof. Space is not looking too good in this jacket. We don't need any more of those, not yet. I normally do uh, like building ghillie suits. We'll get to that eventually. Yep, once again, no shovel. Some different pants would be nice too. So I know I was saying that if they have open doors, let's see if they did that. All right, ladies and gents, we're back. Sorry about that. Fell victim to a server restart. So what I wanted to see is in the patch notes, they said, now you can stack matches. And you can. That is nice. Well, okay, now uh, I'm about to say I can't take him out of my hand now. Yeah, that's another thing. Keep in mind to uh, watch right above your stamina bar in the top left corner. It'll warn you of uh, server restarts, but I have a 32 inch monitor and it's a little too big actually, so uh, it's hard to catch everything that goes across the screen. And that little red text in the bottom 
is one of them. So the server restarts either gonna help us or hurt us, we'll find out. That actually looked like it brought me back a little bit from where I originally was. So we are getting pretty close right now to the police station, which is right up there. Which is one of the main reasons I came here and moved that up. Another? Oh, I was about to say another IJ? Oh, Warren. Alright. Well, we're going to go ahead and swap that out. So you see how it shows I got a bullet still in the gun? If you uh, double click reload, it'll eject that shell. So I have the 9 mil here. So instead of having to click drag and all that, we're just going to go ahead and press and hold R or drop one in. I uh, probably should have chambered that though because now I have one less shot. And one shot makes a difference in this game. box of nine mil wouldn't hurt either huh oh we got a few things we're looking for uh for me shovel would be top priority Congress to get one though. Uh. All right, For some reason the game's kind of bugging out. Oh, yeah. So I did aggro her, so she's going to be looking for me actively, alright. So let's go ahead and let him in. Come on, man. I say I just got this jacket. used to be it was kind of easy to stun them. Uh, but they have definitely like buffed up the, the zombies. They are an actual threat now. I don't know if you can notice that. It's kind of subtle, but whenever I am crouched, it seems like my game is bugging. I was trying to walk up to that door. And it was kind of making my character go to the left. Uh oh. Dilemma, dilemma. We seem to have quite a bit of those.
I'm just going to go ahead and enjoy our little jar of jam here. Good thing with the high wind like that, it's kind of easier to sneak by. Just gonna mosey our way to that police station. Oh, come on. Yep. Come on with it, guy. How in the hell did I miss that? Come on. Oh. There's quite a few zombies. I was about to say, I definitely hear one in that house. Really? Saw me through the window. Uh, I'm starting to think somebody might have been around here, because... Looks like they kind of locked them in. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh-oh. Oh, nice little fire barrel there. If we can get them to come over here. There we go. Thank you. All right, that didn't work. Let's try that again, huh? That one worked. Uh, we have quite a bit of zombies mad right now. Oh yeah, here she comes. Yeah, this is not working out like I thought. Oh, Lord, then I got stuck on there. Oh, that little run jump that they do. Uh, Jesus, lady. Putting it to me. Yeah, so if anyone's around here right now, they obviously know I'm here, so... Wait, what am I doing? Huh. So, you know what? We're just going to go ahead and do what we got to do and move around. The element of surprise is gone, for sure. And that's just the way it goes. Oh, great. How about we just shut that real quick? <laughs> well, as you can see, things can go from slightly controlled to really bad quickly. Sounds like there's another one right next door in this section of the police station. There's a way to block and stuff and all that, but being this close... Oh, yeah.
Hopefully I can find a sharpening stone now. My little thing got damaged. Alright, at least we got something good in here. The little scorpion would be nice. I mean, we do have a couple 380s. Uh, I just don't have a mag. Like I said, element of surprise is gone, guys. That's why I'm just kind of running through here real quick. Okay. Well, since they're going to do that for me, I guess uh, we have no choice. Chances are we'll be able to pick up a weapons cleaning kit at that little, uh, that little summer camp that I was telling you about. The CR-61 wouldn't be my first choice, but especially in a damaged state, beggars can't be choosers, though. Oh, yeah. Had a funny feeling that was going to happen. Now we get to try and do the little inventory management thing again. You know what? Our fang is damaged anyway. We're going to think about this. Let me go. Could let this BK eighteen go. It's not like it's really doing anything right now, it's just taking up space on my back. I was kinda hoping for at least a Glock mag so I could take the nine out of it. Or M lock. I hear a ton of little footsteps. I don't know if that's them zombies in that house over there. I don't know. There's a good bit of zombies around here, so it's kind of hard. Somebody's footsteps could easily be disguised. Oh, 
Well, back to that shovel. Coming over here looking for a sharpening stone right quick. Or a 9 volt. for that to shit. We might just take him out. Then that summer camp's right in that direction. Trying to find some different pants. Uh, the police pants offer very low insulation. That's the only reason I didn't snatch those up. Make sure ain't nobody gonna come up behind us. Oh, we got some boots in there. I don't even think that's worth it. Mm. Some capri pants, huh? Hey, don't judge me. It's about survival. My calves need sunlight, too. I mean, obviously, it wouldn't be my first choice, but... Desperate times, desperate measures. Alright, well, I think it is safe to say that this little town has been an absolute bust. I don't think we'd be exaggerating much. So let's go see if we can at least find something in this little summer camp. I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, so we're getting pretty close. Uh, keeping up with traditional play style, I would kind of recon it and stuff, but I don't really see the point of hiding in the woods or in a bush, uh, checking it out with a bright blue jacket on. cleaning kit would be nice. Yeah, there ain't much here, is there? 
Notice there's a little deer stand on the other side. We're probably going to go check that. There we go. Ask and you shall receive. Which kind of reminds me, guys, if you want to see me do something else or if you think I should be, you know, going somewhere else or you believe you know something that I don't, which is very well possible, please do leave it down in the comments. Uh, I'll definitely check them all out. I would like to bring that with us, but it all goes back to the great old inventory management. Tell you what, while we're here, let's see if we can't munch out, make some space. Well, I was trying to keep this for you guys. That way I can show you a little base building. But this right here is going to suit us a little bit better. We can always go back to it. All right. Let's go check out that deer stand. All right. Now you know why I said we're just gonna check it out. It's not a must. Every now and then you'll look up and find something good though. It's not often. Uh, I would never recommend shooting across the field. But considering where we at, how many people I see, I feel a little confident. That's normally when you hear the shot ring out. And you get that infamous black screen. So we're getting pretty close to my little route that I normally take. Which is going to lead us to Gorka. Um, that's normally where I'll set up a base. Kind of have me a stash. This, that, and other. So we're, once we arrive there... That's where we're going to end today's video. I will see you when we get there, guys. Alright, guys. I went ahead and cut back in right here. That way I can explain a few things before we wrap this video up. But uh, when it comes to my stash, guys, I want to go ahead and cut out and cut back in after I uh, go to it and do what I need to do. So we're just going to basically walk up on my spot here. And uh, once we get it in view, that's where we're going to go ahead and end the video. Or I might go inside. That way in case it's raining or something next time I get on. Uh, let's actually see if somebody built here. Yep, somebody's already built here. Well, normally this is about what I would do. So, I don't even have to build for you guys. You can already see what I was going to do. I don't know what it is, but uh, this is definitely one of my favorite areas to do this on. Huh? It doesn't get a lot of foot traffic. Uh, <laughs> I say that. Well, we might not exactly go in, but we'll definitely look around. Yeah, that is pretty much the exact thing I would do uh, when I build. only bad thing is, I wonder if they took into consideration that you can boost on this shed. It doesn't look like it. Well, yeah, if that would have been a fence, yeah. So, obviously, either they're in the process of building, which doesn't look like the case. Looks like they've been raided. Uh, they probably left it kind of looks like it's starting to despawn a little bit um yeah guys though this is normally my little base house since we're here we might as well just pop in and say hello huh Alright, 
goes. So this is normally where I'm gonna. This is where I am gonna end the video. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, we're actually gonna just spend the night in here. Uh, probably not the smartest move, because if these guys do decide to come back and build up their base and stuff, I'm gonna be trapped inside of it. Yeah, let's not do that. What we'll do is we'll just post up somewhere on the outskirts. Alright, my guy is refusing to lay down. Yeah, this is definitely where I build, guys. But uh, someone already beat me to it. Oh well, I do appreciate you sticking around till the end. And this is where it's going to end. So, uh, once again, thanks, guys. I really do appreciate it. If you don't mind, hit that like, subscribe. It really helps my channel out. And as always, Plex out. <laughs>